hello friends welcome back we continue with the tutorials on coding with c presented by me shirshandu mitro research scholar of indian institute of technology guwahati so in this video we will teach the loop which we generally use in any kind of coding not only in c language all the languages uh, you know for coding are almost same only the syntax varies so you need to know the basic idea behind loop in order to do uh, do in order to do coding so here i present different types of loop which we generally use in c so firstly uh, we use for loop there are three types of loops first one is the for loop second one is do while loop and while loop so what are those loops and how they work and how we exploit them in order to do our calculations we will be discussing in this video and uh, to do that uh, we will do actually we will calculate factorial of a number taking the input from the user by using all these three loops individual so in the uh, first one we continue with determination or not determination you write calculation of factorial using for loop so that is the heading of the code we take header files as you know hash include stdio dot h another header file we generally need that one is hash include conio or conio stdlib dot h yeah then we uh, write int main and it will not return any value that is why it is void then whatever you write inside your code that should be in a second quotation so we just give the quotation that is the opening and closing of quotation so in order to do our calculation we will need certain integers so i take i and another integer fact and another integer number so uh, the concept is i will take the number from the user and i will calculate the i will calculate the factorial of that particular number so uh, to do that i need to take the value of number from the user so i write print a enter the number to calculate factorial <coughs> give semicolon to close the line then scan f you know what does it mean scan f means we are just taking the value from user that is why scan f is needed scan f percent d percent d comma ampersand number we are taking number from the user that is why percent d means in the for integer we write percent d that is the syntax in c and then so uh, what are the things already done we have taken integer that will be required for doing this code and then we have scanned or we have taken the value from the user and then so you can say this is the this step is inputs and giving and taking necessary integers that is the step then what we do after we take the integer we need to do the calculation or you can say execution step so here what do you do 
we will take a for loop say for i equal to 1 semicolon i less than equal to number semicolon i plus plus that means it will be incremented by 1 then within the second quote i write the execution step so fact would be equal to fact into i yeah so uh, what will happen i'll ex i'll just explain so here uh, one more thing it needed i just initialize fact to 1 because otherwise it may take some garbage value I'll explain what is garbage values uh, later on. But uh, you remember that any variable you use, you should initialize it if so required. So here I require it. That is why I initialize fact to 1. Now what is happening? Uh, if I tell you, mm, now in factorial we have 1. So once this loop starts working, so initially it will take value i equal to 1. So now, in fact, uh, I'll explain. Say, just wait. Just a minute. It's not working. Okay, uh, just a minute. Yeah, so now I'll take a pen. Now, in fact, uh, let me explain like this. Okay, so now in fact, I have rather I'll explain here. In fact, now the initial value is 1. Once you and we are defining here a for loop like this for i equal to 1 i less than equal to some number that number we will be taking from the user i plus plus it means once the first step is done it will be the value of i will be incremented by one and the execution step is fact equal to fact into i so now you see what will happen initially the value the initial value is 1 i equal to 1 and in fact also we have 1 so first step it will just get multiplied that means 1 into 1 it will be 1 clear so once the loop once this is done the loop will be running what does it mean i will be incremented by 1 so now the next value of i would be so now value of i is 2 and in fact we have 1 into 1 equal to 1 or we had 1 so now in the second step the value of fact would be 1 into 2 equal to 2 in the third step again i will be incremented by 1 so it will become 3 and now it will be fact equal to Initial in the second step the value of fact was 2 so 2 into i that means 3 equal to 6 in the third step i equal to say 4 then the execution would be initially the value in the in this third step the value was 6 and then it would be 6 into 4 because now the value of i is 4 equal to 24 so you can see what we are doing we are just 
multiplying 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 like this. Uh, now uh, we have a control we are taking this number from the user suppose user has put the number i equal to 5 so the loop will run up to this point i equal to 5 again fact equal to 24 into 5 and that would be 120 so and you know this is the factorial of 5 so we go to the coding yeah so this is done once this calculation is done we need to print it in order to see what is the factorial so we just write print a factorial of the number is equal to percent d comma fact semicolon uh, here we just put one backslash n it means once this printing is done the next printing will be done in the next line then we write return 0 you know all the syntax so my program is coding is done so I just run it just going to execute and then clicking on compile and run so I save it somewhere in computer say in, in D drive I have a folder YouTube C codes so here you write factorial by for loop say for loop so I save it yeah so it is showing enter the number to calculate factorial say I enter 3 so the factorial of the number is showing okay so I have shown you for 5 then the factorial of 5 is 120 I'll check once so I enter 5 yeah it is showing 120 so you can see this is the for loop we have exploited for loop in order to do the calculation and we calculate the factorial of 5 now instead of this for loop uh, the funda of this for loop is uh, it is very simple and basically we use this loop for its as it is very simple but uh, some some of the cases we need another type of control and that can be done by using while loop or any other loop or say do while loop so I'll show you the use of while loop the same thing which we are describing by for loop we can describe by while loop say we take while while say i less than or equal to number then you do this steps you can see here the same thing will happen because i am i am instructing c to do this particular step or execution step when i is less than equal to number so it is same as the previous one and the incrementation you have to do here because in for loop it was getting incremented itself but here we have to increment it because initially the value of i is say 1 so here initialization is needed say i equal to 1 so we initialize i equal to 1 then we are incrementing i equal to i plus 1 so what will happen say user has put a number 5 so initially it will take i equal to 1 so it will calculate this step and then it will increment uh, the i to 2 like this it will be happening it will be happening up to 5 and we will get our value they just run it say factorial again i am putting 5 so you can see here 120 so this is the use of while loop so now i will come to do while loop the main difference between while loop and do while loop is that in while loop you can say we have the control before the execution step what does it mean the condition checking is being done before the execution step but if i do if i make it by do while loop so i just try do so i'm instructing it do these steps and then i'm instructing to 
uh, then I am giving the controlling step while first quote number less than equal to sorry it's not number i less than equal to number i less than equal to number the same step same uh, controlling step or same line i'm writing but in different loops so now you can see do it will be executed when this condition is satisfied if it is not satisfied it will go to this line and it and the factory value will get printed so i just execute it again 5 120 so all those things were all about uh, coding and use uh, and uh, usage of loop in coding and uh, in particular here in this video i have described coding with c but the thing is the concept is same in any language you use uh, there would be loop like for loop while loop and other loops so one more thing uh, in this regard uh, why do we need uh, while loop why do we need for loop or uh, what are the purposes of needing all those things suppose sometimes what you are doing you cannot use for loop suppose you have a condition that would be related to some other execution line suppose I calculate some value a in some other steps and my condition would be while a particular number less than equal to a then you do the execution step so in this kind of cases you cannot straightforward use uh, your for loop uh, so for those kind of cases uh, uh, I prefer or we prefer to use while loop or do while loop so based on your situation your requirement you will be using all these loops so thank you for uh, watching this video I will be uploading more videos on C. Please do comment on my video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much guys.